So you can see, this just have a lot of stuff in here and it's just making us crazy because it's not accessible. And it's like, every time you want to come and get something in the pantry, you have to trip over all this stuff. I mean, yeah, we have a case of Monster, but like, you know, how often do we drink it? Not very, but it's in the way. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to set up the camera and you guys can watch if you want. If you don't, um, it's a fun tour of just fun things like... How did we end up with a black turtle beans in a can? That's a funny story. But, you know, um, yeah, let's get started. Oh, and in case you're wondering where I'm rocking this dad hat, it's because we tried to get haircuts. We were in Santa Barbara from our friend Sean, who is extraordinaire. They had literally just opened up haircutting um, like the day before we got there. And we tried to call and get an appointment. And the soonest appointment was like, 15 days away, so that didn't happen, but yeah, so I got this big amount of hair going on, which is why I'm wearing the hat, or you'll probably see me put a bandana on. I'm enjoying having long hair. Um, it's just a mess. All right, let's go. All right, I also feel like I'm in sport mode now. I got the eyebrows on, I got the headband on. Mm. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put you guys into music because I'm going to play music, and that's uh, not YouTube friendly. And we're probably going to have the washing machine and dryer going, so enjoy the music.
redesign this because I thought it was like it was a good first try, but I don't think it was practical. Who owl? So, what things always bugged you, or which things would you use more if they were more accessible to you? Some pots things, and pans. So I was thinking to put the pots and pans here. Does that help? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking to move these up there because neither one of us get into them very much. Um, what else? Do you have any preferences? No.
because all of a sudden this wall bracket is giving way from the wall and I don't know what the solution is yet. Uh. So there you can see it's starting to pull away. Uh. Okay, so I had to take a little break because the shelf was coming off the wall and it's just not made for weight and it's made for like socks and underwear in your closet not for heavy pots and pans like i'm trying to put on them or spices or whatever else so i think i came up with another solution so i'm going to put a baker's rack in there instead um the only one we have available right now is the one that's in my office so i will turn you around and show you what it looks like right now and i need to clean it off and get it down in there it's just it was not in the cards for today, but um, yeah, moving along. All right, so in my office, I have this rack currently just holding a bunch of crap. Um, so I'm gonna clear this off and move that back there and we will keep going with our project. So I was having a coffee break. Apparently we have a visitor. And that's fine. Clean it. Suck it up, buttercup. All right, so um, I rolled the rack in here, and I really don't like that it's against the window right now. Um, but it is on rollers, it's on casters. So uh, once I get it loaded, I can move it back against this wall. We just need to disassemble this. But um, yeah, just don't like this system. It just doesn't hold enough weight. All right, back at it. All right, so it might be time for me to wait till tomorrow. This just happened, just slipped out of my hand and flew a box of the ground and crap went everywhere. So um, I'm gonna clean this up and we'll see if we keep going. All right, so not so bad. Um, just had the top on the syrup break lost a little syrup but not so much all right so um here's the dealio i got the damn vacuum is still going in here i got the dryer on i got the rack in here it feels very crowded to me but for right now um i'm gonna do what i can i'm getting pretty tired it's been like three hours um and i'm feeling frustrated so I'm going to avoid trying to hit these sharp corners and try to get the heavy stuff off this wall since it's just a, kind of a mess. So, anywho, um, that's where we're at. Keep going.
getting there. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I feel better with lots of heavy stuff over here. And maybe we'll make a, a shelf on this side for the outside equipment. <laughs> I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I was tired and I got things to do otherwise. So um, here's where we are. So uh, here's the new rack we moved in here. It's getting nice and full. It's very um, sturdy so it can hold lots and lots of weight. Got those things up there. I'll give you a full tour later, but just wanna give you a heads up where we're at. So we got the floor cleaned. We got this. We got a new shelf for our outdoor goodies. Um, I put the, the cardboard there because it uses oil and it gets all over the place. It actually uses vegetable oil, believe it or not. And uh, put some nice light stuff up here. Um, in the kitchen, it's getting better. So, um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff still in here and on the counters. But we're getting there, and I feel good. I'm going to go drink that coffee and drink some almond milk um, over here. We're getting there. Not quite there yet, but, um, yeah. So... Um, I'm feeling good about progress. I'm just tired. Um, I get deflated when a project goes wrong. Um, I'll come back tomorrow. But this was like four or five hours today, so that's quite a bit. Doing the last bit of laundry here, and uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Never a dull day. All right, y'all. It's day two, and I am revitalized. I was feeling very wilty yesterday after my whole experience. Um, I think I was just very dehydrated, but I'm um, also probably hungry and been working on it for like four hours. So all of that, plus a little bit deflated after um the whole shelving unit debungle so let me turn you around and show you where we're at um, i'm in the kitchen and uh, we're making some progress all right so it might look a little messy in here but it's actually getting pretty good um so that's wood that we'll put in the living room for the wood fireplace got rid of significant boxes over there um, these are party supplies like cups and plastic forks and all that stuff that we brought with us which we're not having parties right now because we're in a pandemic so that's kind of annoying um, these are some bottles that I cleaned in the dishwasher they're all nice and shiny as you can see and I've got all the caps lined up because I disinfected them this morning that's a future project so 
It's actually looking much better in here. Um, just some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, trying to figure out the microwave situation. Don't like how it's sitting up there. But um, all the breads and stuff will go up there. So let's go into the pantry. Not the panty, the pantry. And we'll give you a little update. So it's looking pretty good in here. Um, it's raining all day today. So surprise. It's looking good in here. Um, yeah. So I got some more water bottles here drying. Cleaned these yesterday. These are going to be for rice. Um, I filled up. I took the bag of brown rice that was down there. I filled up all the rice bottles. We got like a little over two bottles there. We had rice rice for dinner last night. It was pretty good. Um, and then just deciding to put light stuff on this side. So, all right, there's your recap. Let's keep going. If you ask me, let me pan up a little bit so you can see. So we've got um, our light stuff on this side since the shelf is having an issue. That's fine. We'll deal with it later. Um, we've got our heavy pantry goods. We got our boxes of spices. We got our glass goods. We got our canned goods. We got the pots and pans. Yeah, see that? There we go. We got our pots and pans down here um, for easy access for raccoon because the stuff was a pain in the ass before and i agree it was um and then in that corner right there we got a box with all the pots and pan lids so they're easy access we got a nice clean aisle to get in here um 
The bottom box, as you guys saw there, that's party goods. This is uh, mugs for when we have parties, like cocoa mugs. And this is um, dried goods like oranges and bay leaves and chilies and things like that. Those are in bulk for my business. Um, I put the uh, grocery bags down there, cleaning products, we got flour, we got some other types of flowers like tapioca, stuff like that. Um, I've got carrots, potatoes, and onions in the green box, and I put a, a little bag on top just to keep the daylight out of there so the potatoes don't grow. Um, it's usually a nice chilly, like 50, 55 degrees in this room, so we keep the eggs, which are there out here, and also um, the vegetables, which are like being in a basement. Um, I've got light goods, like chips and such, over here, and then uh, different kinds of pasta are in that far corner, and then over here we have chocolate chips and nuts and stuff like that. And I don't like the fact that the light is on them, but for right now, that's just what we got to deal with. And then um, we've got a shootload of coffee up there in the corner that Raccoon bought in Santa Barbara because we like our coffee. All right, and over here, let me turn autofocus on. And bring it on over here in this corner, which I don't think you've seen much of. So I love the windows in this corner. You can see all the way up. Windows all the way to the ceiling. Beautiful forest. And then I'm trying to just store jars that are clear over here. And the aluminum foil. We use the aluminum foil a lot and it's big. So I put it there. But look at that. The top of the dryer is all cleared off. So that's exciting. This is just our bowl of gloves. We do use this bowl eventually. Uh, uh, we do use this bowl a little bit, but not so much, but it'll be good to hold our gloves for right now. So you can see it's nice and clean in here and just have the laundry detergent back there. I'm sure stuff will get shifted around a little bit more. But, all right, let's go take a look at the kitchen and we'll figure out what the heck to do in there. It's, it's getting there, it's getting there.
All right, I'm calling it done. Let's take a tour. All right, you guys, I am feeling really good. This is the first time the floor has been completely empty and the robot is cleaning it. I love it. So uh, check it out. So here is the upper kitchen and I got our coffee area. So um, we have a beautiful window here with a nice view of the woods. You can see out there. Um, little shelves here just accumulating stuff, but that's just like our daily vitamins and stuff like that. Um, small, simple sink. All right, over here, just have some fresh produce, tomatoes, and uh, yeah, just move those containers over there, put the alcohol away since it's not the holidays anymore. Got our lovely little thing from our friend Lori. Um, traded out the compost bin for just a can of soup. Sorry, a can of enchilada sauce and uh, move the compost over here so we got the recycle the green is the compost the blue is recycle the brand, uh, gray is trashy trash somebody's having problems there we'll get rid of the microwave box we got the microwave up here uh, got pliers up there no pliers pliers away we'll get that um, squared away we just need to get a new extension cord for that so that's pretty good um, feeling good over here uh, this is our brush for cleaning the fireplace stuff just a funny, a funny sign. Um, here's the view from the kitchen. The front stairs and our neighbor just got her trees done last week. So it looks pretty good. All right, and heading into the pantry where Ufi is going. We got all this cleaned off. It feels really good, really clean. Um, I won't give you a tour of this again because you've already seen it 16 times, but I think it looks pretty darn good. All the stuff light stuff on this side, our outside stuff, our long-term and big liquidy stuff, and of course small stuff down there. I'm feeling really proud. I think it looks pretty darn good. So let's see if I can do a little before and after. So here is the after. I'll take some shots because I don't remember what I did. But there's that and uh, this direction nice and clean. And this direction, it's looking pretty good. And one more shot, this way. All right. Whew. All right, you guys, this probably took about six or seven hours to complete, but I'm feeling really good about it. Um, I feel like the kitchen is ready, like for the first time in three months, like ready, ready. Um, the pantry in here is looking super good and I feel proud. Ooh. Take a thumbnail for the for the gram. Ooh, feeling good. Ooh, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, here's what I did with my kitchen and pantry, and uh, I'd love to know what you guys are doing. If this helped you out, I hope so. Um, and hopefully, uh, Raccoon feels more comfortable getting to the pots and pans and stuff like that. And this vacuum is just chasing me around. So. Alright guys, I'm Robert Jones, the Eudaimonious Mark II. I hope you guys enjoy this and what I'm doing with my kitchen, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.